Okay, join us today as we take you around the Disney magic on a ship tour. We'll start at deck 10 and end at deck one, and we'll show you around to the different areas of the ship with a few little hints at their theming. Make sure you pay attention to the carpets, the height of the ceiling, and all the other intricate details that Disney puts in to every area of their ship. It truly is amazing when you think about all of the details that they add to make it that Disney feeling. Enjoy and don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and notification button for more um, of our journeys and adventures. Deck 10 is going to be your home to a deck that you can walk completely around, Bibbidi Bobbidi, the sports deck area behind me here. And um, oh, your interest to vibe and also to the slides. So let's take a look. So forward is going to be the front of the ship and this morning we are docking, uh, we actually are anchoring out in the sea so we can't quite go up all the way to the front but up there they have foosball tables, they have the balls to play it, they have these basketball courts. In the morning they do yoga and stretching up here and then the kids, the edge and the vibe will come up here to play different sports games. They have some seating here on each side. They have uh, towel bins on the left hand side is your clean towels and then on the right hand side is where you put your dirty towels. They also have a water refill station here uh, so you can press this button right here and it will refill your water bottle. Pardon the noise. <clears throat> you look out that's Cabo San Lucas. We have more more chairs and the ones on deck 10 are full loungers whereas the ones on deck 9 are going to be your half loungers. Here forward, forward or the front of the ship we will be over the adult section of the ship and the pool area but this is also where you will find Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique is the location for Boys and girls, three to 12, to get made over into princes or princesses using your fairy godmother in training. On Pirates Night, they do a pirate's lair and they change the scenery. It's really a fun experience. If you have a little one, I would definitely recommend it. Uh, to get out, you just wave your hands over these little sensors it opens the door if you try to open the door yourself it's going to be really difficult so forward is the front of the ship and this area up here that you see uh, that's all in here that is the concierge area if you are going to be staying in the concierge uh, room then that will be your private deck area where you will have snacks throughout the day and different amenities. Also your host will be there so that you could ask them questions or they will get things for you. We've stayed at Concierge on the Wonder, the Dream, and the Fantasy. Pretty fun experience. Especially if you're on one of the larger ships going to Castaway Key, it's your best bet of getting one of those cabanas. Okay, so now we're getting to midship. We know we're midship because we're between these two large uh, funnel stacks right here. This is the stairway to the aqua dunk. Aqua dunk. The aqua dunk is right up there. You stand in a little pod and it opens the ground and you go down the slide. Gabby loves it. She's gone down it more than 30 times it is a 48 inch height requirement and uh, you walk up these stairs and all the way around the funnel into that box i'd never do that uh, this midship is also where you will find the entrance to the vibe i was able to get a video of what the vibe looks like during their open house so here is the vibe entrance and they have their own gray staircase to go up as well as the entrance to the concierge area. You know it's the concierge area when you see these little Mickey keys. The Mickey keys are what indicate concierge. It is open from seven to 10. 
And if you stay concierge, it's a lovely space to just relax, get some treats, and hang out. Okay, so when you go on the slides, the aqua dunk or the twist and spout coming up, uh, what you will notice is you are not allowed to bring anything on. Uh, so no, no nose plugs, no goggles, uh, no shoes, nothing. So they have little cubbies there. One trick I know that I use to know which way is forward and aft or rear is if I am on deck nine or 10 and I see the funnel vision, this big screen here, and I'm looking at it, I know that is forward. So that's gonna be your front of your ship. Continuing on deck number 10. Uh, we are now midship. We are right above the pools. One amazing tip is if you get here early for any of the deck parties, you can stand at deck 10 and actually watch the deck parties almost perfectly for the fireworks, the pirates night. You're gonna wanna stand facing the screen. You're gonna wanna stand on the left-hand side, the port side, because they shoot off the fireworks from the right-hand side or the starboard side. Okay, continuing on towards the aft of the ship or the rear of the ship, the back end of the ship. Aren't these Mickey stacks adorable? At night they glow, they're so pretty. I just love them. Okay, here is the next slide. One, these are, there are two slides here on the Disney Magic. The other one is this one called the Twist and Spout. The entrance is on deck 10. It has a 38 inch requirement. It actually moves quite slow and it's super duper fun. It has that spiral staircase right there that you can go up, 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 up. At the top, there's no lifeguard, but the system really works. What they have is a camera. The lifeguard stands down here at the bottom on deck nine. And there's a light, a green or a red light that allows you to go. And it, it amazes me how much that works. One unique thing about the Disney and uh, Wonder and Magic, there are yellow slides on here. It's the twist and spout. It twists one way and then it twists the other way. So this is gonna be in the aft of the ship or the rear of the ship here. Again, you'll see these full loungers that you won't see on any other deck. Well, you'll see them in the adult section. The last big thing that you will find on the Disney Magic is going to be the adult restaurant, the Palo. And we're gonna to get to that in just a minute. But here is another water refill station. So if you bring a water bottle, you can refill it here. The water doesn't taste too bad, but you can definitely tell you're on the ship. It's definitely ship water. And one unique thing that they don't have on the Wonder that they do have on the Magic are, are these little navigation compasses, which is kind of cool. They have one on each side of deck 10 here. There are, the Wonder and the Magic are sister ships, meaning that they are built just about the same. But there are small differences that we've noticed after sailing on both of them. The Magic was our first ship in 2017, and we just started sailing on her again this, this fall. Uh, the Wonder, however, is usually the ship that comes into San Diego, and we've sailed the Wonder about 10 times. So this is going to be the entrance to Palo, and we'll come back to that in just a second. First, I'm going to take you all the way to the aft of the ship. Cabo is just so beautiful to be docked at. We were in Mazatlan yesterday, and when you dock into Mazatlan, they have a you're in like a cargo ship area. So what you'll notice here in the aft of deck 10 is there's no chairs, there's no tables, it's just an open deck. And that's because what looks like little mirrors here, this is actually windows to the Palo restaurant. So when you're eating in Palo, if you eat in Palo, what you will notice is a ton of people will pretend like these are mirrors. And uh, you will see all sorts of interesting things. So Palo is the only adult dining um, charged restaurant aboard the Disney Magic. It is Italian based. It is actually inspired by Venice. So you will see hints of Venice. I did a little walkthrough when we ate here. As a Platinum Castaway Club member, you actually get a $50 credit to eat inside of Palo. So that will cover a brunch. We like to do the brunch because it doesn't take away from 
your dining rotations and I just love the dining rotations. So the brunch is pretty good, although pre-pandemic it was amazing because it had a buffet and oh my gosh, that buffet was so good. Post-pandemic they never opened it up so it is a sit down. They have amazing food in here. Their chicken parmesan is the best. So some things to know about the Palo. One, the tile in the Palo was actually imported from Italy and as well as the mass that you see in the restaurant. Now these are going to be some of your cleanest restrooms here on Deck 10. The Palo restrooms are so clean. Now you'll notice too that the design of the carpet here as well as the walls are all themed to be that feel of being in Italy. The glass uh, work here reminds me of when we went to, I think it was Burano or Murano, and saw their glass work as well. So that is deck 10. We are ending deck 10 in the aft of the ship. Deck 10 is where you'll find Bibbidi Bobbidi, you'll find the Palo, you'll find the sports deck, you'll find the slide entrances, and great viewing for the Pirates Party, as well as any deck parties that you might have. Let's head down to deck nine. We'll go down the stairs. So deck nine is going to be your most active of all of the decks. Deck nine has um, main, your main eateries other than your main dining rotations. It's home to Cabana's, Duck Inn Diner, Daisy's Delights, also your ice cream, and your soda machines. So here we have Cabana's. Now it's going to be in the aft of the ship, so you're going to have your main restaurants are gonna be back here, and then you have your signs. Okay, so starting here in the aft or the rear of the ship on deck nine, you'll notice that they have life vests out. The nephew splash pad, oh my goodness, this thing is super cute. This is where kids Where kids um, three years old and younger that maybe aren't fully potty trained, this is going to be your area that you stay in. Uh, kids that are not fully potty trained are not allowed to be in the pools. They do that for safety reasons. Even with swim diapers, you are not allowed in the pool. They also have this really cute splash pad area that's interactive. You can press the buttons on this side of the boiler and uh, water is everywhere and you will get soaking wet here. These little buckets turn and the shower heads come down and then the buckets will dump on top of you. This pool here, this whole area is called the Aqua Lab. This pool here is really shallow. It only goes, I don't know, mid-calf maybe. Uh, we spend a lot of time over here. These little holes here um, that you see, it actually spurts up water. So this whole area is kind of like a waiting area for younger kids. Right here to the entrance behind us is going to be the restaurant, or not the restaurant, the quick service Daisy Delights. That's where you'll find fresh fruit, fresh vegetables, fresh salads, fresh sandwiches. Um, they also have, and I have a video I'll put in here, they also have a build a bowl. Here's the aqua lab rules. So swim diapers are prohibited, children not potty trained need to enjoy the splash zone that I showed you, and adults have to be here. Now there are lifeguards on duty, um, so there's always a lifeguard on duty in the kids section of the pool. Here we have Duck and Diner. Duck and Diner is going to be where you find your chicken tenders, your hamburgers, your cheeseburgers, veggie burgers, fish burgers, hot dogs, Wordsworth fries. Also on the Disney Magic, they have shawarma here, and they usually have a special of the day. If you come early enough in their um, serving, they have a special of the day that you'll be able to enjoy. Yesterday was a spicy chicken sandwich, I believe. Okay, this is also, we're getting to midship here. We have Frozone's Treats, and also the ice cream is here. Now, Quacks used to be a shop that would open on sea days, but it hasn't reopened at all since the pandemic. 
So they used to sell sunscreen and bathing suits in there and it would just slide open. We're getting to my favorite part of the ship. This is midship, deck nine. This is where you'll find Pinocchio's Pizzeria. You'll also find a bar that opens up. This is where you have your main family pool. This is the pool that you're gonna swim in. It's Goofy's pool with two hot tubs. Now there's always a lifeguard on duty for the pools, but they don't necessarily supervise the hot tub. This is also where you find the Funnel Vision that plays Disney cartoons and movies throughout the day. On Pirates Day, they played Pirates movies. On yesterday was our holiday, merry time day on this ship, and they played Christmas movies all day. But you will notice down here that they don't have the full bottom. They just have that half seat to fit more chairs in, of course. Now, throughout the day, it clears up. You're able to find seats. You don't need to come down here and save them. Just use them when you need them and then leave and come back. They do have tables out here you can eat at. They usually will have um, bar service here as well. Now, here to the right of the screen or the starboard side facing forward, you will find the tween area. This is the edge. The edge is where the tweens can now come from, I believe it's 11 to 14. And then they go to the vibe, which is on deck 10. So this is where a bathroom is here on deck. We have a men's and women's bathroom. There's just a single stall there. Uh, we are at the midship elevators. One cool thing about the midship elevators is their glass and they have this painting down here that you can see all the way down. And then when you get to deck five, it opens up into the, like the atrium, which is so pretty. Okay. Now, we're gonna go to the port side or the left-hand side of deck number nine because this is how we enter into the adult section. Now, you can enter in on both ways, but on the left-hand side of the port side, facing forward, you get the Cove Cafe, one of my favorite spots here on the Magic. The Cove Cafe serves specialty coffees that are an additional charge. So, you go into the Cove Cafe, and it's very busy there this morning, so I will just shove in my tour of that. They have treats throughout the day. Most of the day they have pastries, but in the evening during dinner service, they actually have a cheese and olive platter with some bread. This is the adult section. Kids are not allowed here. This is strictly 18 and older. They have these comfortable padded lounge chairs. They have a pool that does not have a lifeguard on duty. Two hot tubs, but this pool is cool because it's like a infinity pool I don't even know how to what it's called but it has this seating area out here you can sit on and still get wet it has an area where you can swim and there's a bar called signals so this area here is where they might have um, drink tastings throughout the day for an additional charge the drinks that you'll buy here will be also an additional charge so this is deck number nine this is forward, so your adult section here on deck nine is gonna be forward on the ship, and it's a quiet area. If you notice, they play different music. You can't even hear the movie playing on the other side of this screen, which is incredible to me. Oh, let me show you the bathrooms. There are two, actually three sets of bathrooms here on deck number nine. One is by the midship elevators that has one stall. The next is going to be in the middle of this ship by the pool area. That's where they have a three stall bathroom. It's gonna be on the left side or the port side, midship as well. So here we are back midship again where the goofy pool is. We're gonna head back to towards cabanas but this time we are on the left hand side or the port side we were walking down the aft oh look at Pablo they do have garbage cans so if you're done with your plate if you're eating out here on the pool deck all you have to do is put your food in there put your plate up there and they'll come by and take it yeah. 
and it is amazing to me. We were just in the adult section, couldn't hear this movie playing or the safety tips. But now that we're over in the pool area with the kids, we can hear it super clear. Okay, your next set of bathrooms are right here. They are midship underneath the funnel. There's about three stalls in each bathroom. To the left, forward, you'll find the Pinocchio Pizzeria, Goofy's Pool, adult area. And to the right, we will see that splash on the back end of it where they have the slide. This side is also where you will find the sodas. Most of the time they are self-serve, but they have started serving us. So most likely that indicates there's kind of an uptake of some stomach viruses going around. Uh, but these sodas and coffees are included in the price of your cruise and are complimentary. You can bring your own tumblers and things to fill. So that is deck number nine. So one additional feature on deck nine, if you go through the adult section here, you go into those doors that have the forward elevators, you will have another adult section, the Census Spa. Now the Census Spa is where you will find the rainforest room. It's also where you will find full-size bathrooms. Now the Census Spa area is just for adults. Kids are not allowed in that area. And let's see, I think it's over here. Um, it's also where you will find the workout area as well. So that's forward here um, and deck nine. Now this is also where you will find the official staircase that welcomes you to Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. That's deck nine. Deck nine has a lot going on. Forward though is the adult area. So we've already toured deck 10 and deck 9, so now we're going to deck 8 in the deck forward. Eight. Deck 8 only has staterooms, so I'm not going to go all the way around. But I did want to show you a couple features on the um, room so you would know. So here we go. One, on each floor, each deck, they have this map here of the ship. This is really helpful if you are staying in one of these floors that only has rooms, because it can get a little confusing. Forward's going to be that direction. Aft is that direction. We just came up into these elevators here. This is where your concierge suites are going to be. So you'll notice that on the port side, all of the rooms start with the deck number and a zero. So on deck eight, it's 80. Deck seven is gonna be 70. Deck six is 60. Deck five is 50. And you'll notice that all the rooms on the starboard side or the right hand side are 85 or 86. So this one is going to be your 80s. And these hallways can be mighty long. Another thing to look at is the carpet. So when you look at the carpet, you will notice a five-pointed star. The five-pointed star, the top of the star, the one point, points forward. The two star, the two points on the bottom, they point, point aft or to the back of the ship. Now this is deck eight forward elevator. If you go up one deck, you're at Census Spa and the adult section. Deck eight is just rooms. Here's the 85, 86s. Again, deck eight. And you are now on the starboard side. Okay, let's head down to deck seven. One thing to keep a lookout is you never know which elevator is gonna open up. They have these pads here for deck seven and then up here is a quick little guide as well as on this side of the elevator. Deck seven. So deck seven is going to be mainly just staterooms, but there's a laundry service here. So again, your stars on the ground in the hallway of the stateroom are going to point you forward with the point. The hallway and the carpet does not. So let's see. Here's our ship map. Here's deck seven. 
the laundrette is right back here. So there are three laundry areas on the ship. There is one on deck two, six, and seven. That's going to be the starboard side. I've actually never used the laundry services, but my dad loves to use the laundry, not laundry services, but the laundry room. They do have laundry services where you can put your laundry in a bag and um, they'll launder it for you. It just costs per item. What's kind of fun is different staterooms have different door magnets. This is when they are selling in the room. It's a little large for the, I mean, selling in the store. It's a little large for the ship doors. But kind of fun. Little stocking because it's a maritime cruise. <laughs> Hello. Here is the mid elevators. Let's see. We passed it somewhere. Because that's forward. No, that's aft. We're still not there. Okay, so on deck seven, the laundry service is between the mid elevators, the midship, and the aft. Look at this door. It's so cute. Sometimes it's fun and we've just walked around the different stateroom decks just to um, see the door decorations, people's fish extenders. That's one of the fish extender bags. So the FEs, you, you find a um, Facebook group for your cruise that you're on and you can sign up through there. Now the Facebook groups are not actually ran by Disney. It has no affiliation with Disney whatsoever. It's just a random person that's on your cruise that decided to make a Facebook. They, for your cruise, they are the ones that are the admins in charge. They will usually um, have you sign up for fish extenders or FEs. They're called fish extenders because you have a fish by your room. So they were extending the fish, which is where they'll put all your room keys and everything. Oh, here we found it. So this is deck seven, the laundrette service. This is where you will find your steamers, your irons, um, as well as information here. It tells you what ones are available. You tap your key to the world card there to pay. In addition to buying laundry detergent and fabric softener. You would tap right there. And then here are your washer and your dryers. Washers here on the bottom, dryers on top. And there is a timer. So you'll tap your key to the world car. You will then see a price and it will have a timer that sets up. The washer and dryer, different settings. It looks like there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on deck seven. It's not very much space, um, so we'll check out deck six and deck two to see what we can find. But back to the fish extenders. Usually on that Facebook group, you will find um, fish extenders, which is when you officially sign up with other cabins to give gifts. Now this could be as simple as um, a cabin gift or it could be gifts for each person. Um, we have gotten some really neat items when we've participated and we've given some really neat items that were personalized for our crews. Sometimes they even have magnet exchanges, which is a fun way to do it. You just put magnets on each other's doors or even ornament exchanges, especially on these maritime cruises. That's a lot of fun. We've gotten uh, magnets with a little porthole with our room on it and all sorts of other ones that have just been really amazing. Okay, let's head back down this hallway. We remember we are on deck seven, deck eight, deck seven, all rooms, deck six, all rooms. But where you're gonna find the laundry, washer and dryer is gonna be on deck six and deck seven. So we are midship deck seven. Let's see if we go down midship to deck six, if that's where the laundry is. I believe my, my dad used deck six as laundry service. And so there was more space on that one. He said that deck two tends to have the most overcrowding um, when it comes to the laundry services. Okay, so it's about the same place, but before I take you there, that's also gonna be where you have the accessible laundry area. 
So if you're staying on midship deck six, this is actually where you will store. You can store wheelchairs, the larger strollers here, your electrical scooters is this section down here. If you take the mid, the mid um, ship elevators, this is the picture that you see. That's pretty cool. Here you go, here's one. So it's kind of, um, the artistic style on this is um, very like classic cruise ship, I feel. Uh, we were gonna go take, so on the, let me make sure I'm getting this right. On the starboard side, you're gonna have the 63s and the 65s, because we're on deck six, and the 66s. Over here on the port side, is going to be your 60s and 61s. And then down at the ground, again, that five-pointed star, one point points you forward, two points you back. Now that's not the same as this carpet here that you'll find in all the other areas of the ship because these are four-pointed stars. These are not your five-pointed stars. But they did that to orient you, they actually did that on purpose, to orient you on the ship. Um, as soon as you exited your room. So you knew which one, um, which was forward. So let's see if we can find the laundry room here. I can smell it. <laughs> it must be close. Right now um, they're doing their housekeeping. So there's a lot of these um, housekeeping carts, but usually they're not out fully. Oh, look at this door. It's so cute. People do such an amazing job decorating their doors. I love it. Okay, here's the laundrette here on deck six. Kind of the same size as deck seven. Has the same accessory set accessories for it. The, the iron that is kind of dual steamer as well as the um, washer and dryers tapping your magic band to you know make it work it'll have timers on it um, so make sure you set your timer and then um, you can go back how fun for the FE gifts some people hand make their things some will buy a Disney gift cards and give those in little stockings so we are right now we are at the what are we where are we oh we are midship Oh, this is great. So we are midship going from deck six down to deck five. Now deck five is going to start with all of your kids, kids club things. So deck five has a mixture of both um, activities as well as staterooms. Deck five is our favorite in terms of location because deck five is close to everything. So midship deck five, you'll have the Oceaneers Lab, which I did the open house um, video of that. So I'll enter that in here. Um, midship gets you right to the lab. Now, if you go forward on deck five, this is where you're going to find um, our rooms. We like to stay forward in deck five in the rooms 5020, 5022, 5024. But before we get too far in there, I want to point something out to you. These posters here, this artwork here, that's um, right behind the lab going forward on deck five on the port side, left hand side, actually has facts about the Disney Wonder. It's a good tip because my daughter was doing a scavenger hunt with the vibe and they had to, or the edge, and they had to find some facts about the pillows. <laughs> and they're right here. So just kind of a fun trivia piece. If you want to learn more, some interesting facts about the Disney Wonder, here they are. Okay, so we're going forward on the Disney Wonder. You might as well, you might have noticed that the carpet changes. The carpet and also the height of the ceiling changes on deck five um, because they wanted to make it forced perspective for kids to have a lower ceiling because this is kind of their floor. So this is deck five forward, and this is where our favorite rooms are 
This is our room right here, 5024. Made magnets for most of our trips and 5022. Now there's more um, rooms going forward, but those are going to be your regularly priced rooms. These are secret porthole rooms. They also happen on 56, so or 5520, 55, um, 22, 24. And if you go back towards the rear, that's where you're going to get your 51s and your 56s. Okay, let's head back. So we are as forward as we can get on the Disney Magic Deck 5. This is where those um, posters were with the trivia facts on them. And if you look at the carpet, I'm going to tell you more about this carpet in a little bit. And if you look out the window, you will see the lifeboats. You'll notice that they are like a Mickey yellow. And the Disney company is the only company that doesn't have the orange or the white lifeboats. They actually had to do special research and present that research to the Coast Guard in order to get clearance for this color. Um, and they did. And so now they have Mickey yellow lifeboats. So we are midship. Midship has the Oceaneers Lab right by the midship elevators. Midship elevators are my favorite because they have the glass. They also seem to be the largest to me. So here we go. Carpet all the way down on deck three here in the atrium. You'll notice it's a big clamshell. It is to signify the bottom of the ocean floor. Whereas deck four, the deck right underneath us, let me zoom in there, that carpet's supposed to be the sea foam. And then deck five carpet is supposed to be the top of the ocean, the ocean waves. And when we get down to deck three, I'll show you this beautiful light fixture and that's supposed to be the sun glistening through um, the clouds and the ocean top through the seaweed and the sea life. It's pretty amazing the way that the details are. Also what you'll notice around the atrium are these golden panels here on the Disney Magic. Those are things that the crew does on the ship. It's going to be the opposite on the Disney Wonder. The Disney Wonder has what the passengers do on the ship, whereas the Disney Magic has what the crew does on the ship. Okay, enough of that. Let's continue with Deck 5. So Deck 5 has a mixture of different things. We have staterooms where people stay. We love it. It's central to everything, especially when Gabby was going into the Oceaneers Club and Lab a lot. This is where you'll find the Oceaneers Club. Oh, I found a ducky. Oh, huh, that's cute. Uh, this is where you'll find the Oceaneers Club, the Oceaneers Lab, and when there's no open house in those, you will um, ha the kids will have a secret tunnel that goes between the two, and that's kind of fun for the kids. Uh, some of the activities that Gabby's loved doing in there over the years is the Stitches Goo, they have Pluto Pajama Party, they have all sorts of things that she has absolutely loved. So between the club and it's a small world. You'll start to see that classic Disney heritage cartoons uh, animation that was from like the 30s. And then we have the It's a Small World Nursery. Now the club and the lab are all included in the price of your cruise, but the small world is not. I've been able to, I was able to film inside a small world nursery and I will, add that footage in here. It was the first time we were ever in there and it was so adorable. Past the kids club and the small world, we have the Buena Vista Theater. Now this is the only movie theater on the Disney Magic. And what I learned this cruise I never knew before, these posters are actually interactive. You can move, the, move them by just touching the little arrow. This will tell you what's playing for the entire, your entire cruise. This is a maritime cruise, so we have things like Noel. That's the only Christmas one we actually have this time. They've played the Marvels, the Wish, and Elemental. 30 minutes usually before showtime. They'll start making popcorn here and selling popcorn. And it's all modeled after the um, old time theaters, that vintage style. Uh, we learned on the art of the theme show that it was modeled after the Nickelodeons. So it was like right after they stopped 
doing a lot of the stage production and they opened up the movie theaters it would cost a nickel to go in so it was called a Nickelodeon interesting I never knew that so you'll see um, I did some filming in there today I'll cut that in as well some more of that vintage artwork this is costume sketches from the happiest millionaire Okay, so here we are F aft deck four. Deck four is going to be the start of no staterooms. Here's a little general information. What's nice about these by the elevators is it shows you the floor, but it also shows you by categories what's where. So something to remember with the dining, you're gonna have your main dining halls at the aft of the ship, your um, animator's palette, Rapunzel's back here, and then um, you'll have the Lumiere's in the middle of the ship in the atrium. I love that the artwork kind of goes with the theming of the restaurants. This is going to be Animator's Palette, which I did video of before, so we'll put that in here. It's an amazing black and white restaurant, pays homage to the history of animation here. There's two shows. One you'll get if you come on um, any cruise, and that's where... Um, the animation comes to life and you have a special guest appearance at the end and on the longer cruises you get to draw and um, that comes to life and that was last night for us. So here is Shutters. Shutters is the picture location here on deck. They've also added in this fancy jewelry location. I forget what it's called. Diamonds and Wishes. So they have the Diamond and Wishes where you can find fancy jewelry here on board the wonder this is deck four they have all sorts of things watches and necklaces and earrings but this is primarily where you will find your shutters so you tap your key to the world card here and then you can go through your pictures that you've taken when you've scanned in if you want to purchase pictures post cruise you can but you have to wait 48 hours if you pre-ordered your pictures then um, you will get a website you can come down here take a picture of this and you will be able to find and download your photos online after the cruise we've done a couple of the photo books and honestly is the picture package worth it it is definitely worth it if your family is going to take the time to stand in line to do the pictures. We have gotten hundreds of pictures before and we have gotten two pictures this cruise because we didn't buy the photo package. If it's a character meet and greet, they will absolutely take your picture as long as there's an attendant there in addition to the photographer. They do have a portrait studio here on deck four. It's almost midship and you can get family portraits done in here. We've never used the portrait studio before. They also have kind of a smaller art gallery here and you can purchase these photos um, through the, the stores. They will mail them home to your home um, or you can maybe pack them, but I'm pretty sure they just mail them. This is the D Lounge. This is going to be the hub of all your family entertainment. The D Lounge is where they will hold the family game shows. You should not miss a Pirate's Life for me. Um, Emperor's New Groove, the Emperor's New Game Show is really fun. Um, they have just themed game shows every night. They have karaoke, family karaoke. That's a lot of fun in there. That's going to be where your main family entertainment is. Now here is deck four. This is that sea foam deck and over there is some seating with some tables and this is going to be your dvc hub and information if you're interested in dvcs the atrium is just so beautiful what's nice too about deck four is for the d lounge if you come here where the atrium is they have a video of what is happening today in the lounge and the timing so at 2 30 Encanto celebration is going to be here we have Disney Toon trivia how learn how to draw this is where the location of the um, cooking ones are and usually like on the wonder and on the magic this is also also where their christening photo is and it'll tell you where and how and who usually the fairy godmother is of the ship as well So pretty today. 
They do character meet and greets here on deck four in the corner and they line up towards the D lounge. If you were on any um, cruises pre-pandemic, this is where the Disney vacation planning guide was, not the DVC club, but you could come here and buy your placeholders and you could even book future cruises, but they no longer have that as an option since the pandemic. And so instead you book your placeholders on the app itself. So we are midship deck four. And when we go here between the stairwell, this is gonna be your main shopping area. Now these shops are not open when we're in port. You have to wait till after we get out of port. You have your fancier store over here. Uh, White Caps has your more adult centered things. This was the original home of jewelry. They still have some jewelry in here. This is also around the corner where you will find um, like hotel type amenities that you might lose or not have brought with you. However, you will not find adult medication here and you will only find limited amount of kids like a t kid's liquid Tylenol. To get any kind of stomach medication or any other medications, you have to go through um, the health center downstairs. This other shop here is called Mickey's Main Sale. Mickey's Main Sale is going to be home to your stuffed animals, your kids merchandise, your ears that you like, snacks, and just an assortment of other t-shirts and different items. So this is again deck four midship. We have some Christmas merchandise in here today. A little bit more than we had before. They move stuff around every day. And I swear their merchandise changes all the time. Things that they didn't have out at the beginning of our seven night cruise, they will suddenly have out. So make sure you come and shop here on each day if you're looking for something specific. Now this is the entrance to the Walt Disney Theater. They will transform this area, it's incredible, into meet and greet areas. They will make it into different photo op opportunities. If you see something that says preludes, this is where it is. Preludes are these two snack bars off to the side. They open 30 minutes to 45 minutes before the Walt Disney Theater opens for their show times. They'll serve um, popcorn and soft drinks and other drinks. It is an additional cost. It is not included in your cruise. So make sure that if you want to get those popcorn buckets or anything else that you come down to Preludes a little bit early before the theater. Now this is the Walt Disney Theater. The Walt Disney Theater is home to their amazing Broadway quality shows. Tonight I'm so excited we get to see Tangled. We've seen Twice Charmed, which is Cinderella's Twisted Tale. That was incredible. Tangled is incredible. And their third show here on the Disney Magic is Disney Dreams. Now each ship has some unique shows to that ship. Um, we saw a Beauty and the Beast one on the Disney Dream that was mind-blowing. It was just incredible. Um, and the, the show quality is just amazing. Now on these longer cruises, you'll see jugglers, magicians, and we saw a ventriloquist, which was pretty fun. And on the shorter cruises, Twice Charm does not play. One other special thing about Deck 4 is they have a walking deck here. Deck 4 is going to be like your exercise deck, your walking deck. Three laps around is one mile. So let's take a jaunt around Deck 4. One fact I learned about the ship is that the art of the theme show is if the life boats are pointing forward, that is forward. That's the front of the ship. You can see the rear of the lifeboat here. That's pointing you to the back of the ship. Also, deck four forward on the port side, left side, is going to be a water refill station. Deck four is a great deck to come out. They have full recliner type seats here. They have shuffleboard here on deck. And it's just a beautiful area to walk around the outside. There's some shade usually on one side, sun on another, get some fresh air. And it's not usually very crowded, so that's really nice. We're about midship on the port side. Uh, where you see those green signs there, 
J, L, N, etc. You will, um, those are where your evacuation sites are. If you're in the 5020 area, you'll be assembly station H, which is at the beginning there. Here's the shuffleboard area, which is really a fun place to be. As we get to the aft of the ship, one thing that's good to remember is besides Lumiere's, which is dead center in the ship and midship in the atrium, your other two main dining locations are gonna be in the aft or the back of the ship. The Rapunzel's Table and Animator's Palette both have shows, which are incredible. Uh, Lumiere's does not have a show. There's no character. It's gonna be your like, fancier type of a restaurant uh, but it is Beauty and the Beast themed hence the name Lumiere so deck four's walking deck some of it is covered it's all covered but some of it is enclosed As you get to the aft of the ship and the front of the ship, you'll be able to see some of that enclosure here. So you'll notice there's a jogging direction. That way everybody is running in the same direction. And three laps around is one mile. We actually do see quite a few people using this deck to jog. You can also use the gym that is in the census spa, deck number nine. By the adult section but the gym is 18 and over when we went to alaska on the disney magic or the disney wonder it was beautiful i was up there on the treadmill and we could see whales from there which is amazing okay so it looks like we can't go all the way around this way because they are doing some drilling so we will head back the other way and finish our loop that direction so we are going to deck three forward. We are deck three forward. Deck three forward is the adults only area after eight o'clock, I believe. Before eight o'clock, families are welcome down here. And they have the final shop called Sea Treasures. Sea Treasures used to be, if you were on the Magic of the Wonder, like pre-pandemic, this area was where the specialty merchandise was. And since then they have changed it over to um, princess it's like an extension of the bibbidi bobbidi boutique without having to go to bibbidi bobbidi um, they have three bars here one is fathoms fathoms is the home of your adult entertainment after eight o'clock at night nine o'clock it's where all of the 18 and older crowd can come for the most hilarious shows you'll ever see they are really incredible you have O'Gills. So deck three forward is where your after hour section is. They have some amazing bathrooms in here down this hallway here. And uh, remember before, I think it's before eight o'clock or nine o'clock, kids can't come in the section. And after that, it's for adults only. Here's the keys bar. I took some video footage of there. Usually it's very quiet in there. They have live music, like a piano player. And they have some really cool window seats in here. So this is where often we find the kids hanging out anyways when they come through. Fathoms is also where you will play bingo. And there was a night we did, oh, it was when the karaoke was like between dinner services. So here's the main entrance to Fathoms. And on the other side is like the exit or the secondary entrance. And just like in the D lounge and other locations, there's a screen here that shows you what is upcoming. The juggler, the ventriloquist, and the magician have all had adult only shows in Fathoms. Like the night or two after, they have their regular shows. 
you know it is the after hours area because it is themed to blues and silvers or platinums. So the hallways, the carpets, all themed. Now deck three is where you will find the atrium. A beautiful atrium. This is also where you enter the ship. When you arrive on board, you actually come through what looks like little window sliding glass doors, those French doors open, and that's where you enter into um, the ship. This uh, side over here is where you have port adventure questions. You will come here and ask them all about it. It's just beautiful here. I just love it, especially at Christmas time. The atrium is also home to the Christmas tree and a stage. Even though it doesn't look like a stage, this is where your farewell show will be on the last night. This is where the carolers were yesterday. This is where they did the tree lighting on the first night. And if you do a Halloween on the high seas cruise, this is where your, your um, spooky pumpkin tree is going to be with the show for the lighting there. Now before when we've been on the magic, the gingerbread house was right here next to the tree, um, but instead it's located over by guest services. This is also, you can see they're setting up for picture backdrops here which they'll pull down closer to dinner. They'll do pictures in two waves, one before early dining, one before late dining. And on both sides of the atrium, it lists activities and events for the entire day. It'll list the characters and all of the activities that you have going on. Here are the midship elevators, those glass elevators. I love taking them because you can see everything. Here midship is Lumiere's, themed after Beauty and the Beast. It's like supposed to be their fancy restaurant, um, but there's no characters or shows there. And then we have the statue in the atrium. On the Density Magic, it is Mickey Mouse. Um, on each ship, they have a different statue in the atrium. In the evening, they'll have somebody down here playing music. This is usually where they have character meet and greets. Santa's come out here a couple times to take pictures by the tree. These are gonna be your character appearances here on the left hand side in the atrium and it'll tell you where it is if it says deck four midship that's going to be right above us lobby atrium deck three is right here if it says uh, preludes that's back by the theater and here's the cute gingerbread no some fun details i've noticed about the gingerbread house is the let me see if i can zoom in enough the settings on the table are actually the settings from, oh, I don't think you can see it, are the settings from Lumiere's. And Minnie and Mickey are sitting there, it's so cute. Um, on the side, it's gonna be your guest services, where any questions you might have, anything um, that you need to take care of for your room or any questions you might have, you're gonna go to guest services. They'll answer all your questions. You wanna put money on your account, your room onboard account. You could just go there, give them the cash and they will take that. You wanna put gift cards on your room when you're here, you can go there as well. So this is the side, this is deck three, side of Lumiere's. If there's an event happening in the atrium, they will open the side door over here for you to enter for dinner. Before you enter, they'll give you hand wipes so that you can sanitize your hands. There's a little, these little stairs that are right past Lumiere's go up into shutters. My little seating area. And then one of the newest sections that we just saw for the first time was the Soul Cat Lounge. Soul Cat Lounge is modeled after and has Easter eggs from the movie Soul. You will uh, notice 22 up there over the bar. They have New York style. Uh, drinks. They have different family events that happen here. There was a craft thing um, yesterday here. They just did a how to draw Ursula, which are, it was weird because they now have videos, pre-made videos and drawing boards for the characters that we had never seen before this trip. They used to just, I don't know, have us draw it. So that's gonna be at three o'clock today. Then this evening, they'll have music playing and all sorts of other 
um, activities on board. The restaurant here on deck three in the aft is gonna be Rapunzel's. That was also new to us this trip. The last time we were on the Disney Magic um, was in 2017 and it was like three Cabanero themed and it was kind of outdated. So they went into dry dock right after that and we got a beautiful new restaurant and a nice lounge just recently. I love the Rapunzel themed artwork that they have outside the restaurant and the carpet changed too to be Rapunzel themed as well. The decorations around here is all Rapunzel. They have wanted signs. Yes. Oh. Hi. They have the sun. Um, when you come to the shorter cruises, they have it themed as Rapunzel's birthday. Flynn's here. A couple of the ruffians are here. The one with the hook hand and Attila who likes to bake cupcakes are here. They do a show. Can I just film? Thank you. Um, and so they'll sing and dance. They have the lightning, the, um, the lantern, not the lightning, the lantern show. And it's just beautiful. And I love the artwork around the windows are all themed as if Rapunzel painted them herself. They tell the story of Tangled. Um, on the longer cruises, we just had this experience for the first time this cruise. They actually um, had a different show. It was Rapunzel celebration, but on the back they had a big backdrop that had like Rapunzel's birthday celebration and Flynn was not here that day. Kind of reminds me of Tiana's on The Wonder, except for we're on the Magic and it's Rapunzel and they have a Tangled show, which is perfect theming. And um, this is for the Lantern show tonight. When we nope tomorrow tonight's Thanksgiving menu. Tomorrow will be the Lantern show and it's beautiful. The wait staff all come around and have lanterns and the kids get to go in a little lantern parade. The thing I love about Disney is the attention to detail. Here's her flower, um, and the seatings are purple and gold. We'll even notice that about the place settings and the table markers. It's also in the bread baskets for dinner. It's amazing. Anyways, there's also this mural on the back wall as well. This show's fun. There's lots of singing, lots of dancing, and the such. So this is deck three, and we're concluding deck three because now we have gone through the whole thing. You will notice these signs everywhere on this ship. They will point you in the direction of everything that you need to find. There will be restrooms outside of each restaurant, except for Lumiere's. It's kind of across the atrium and up, um, and you will find them by near animators. This is deck three, home to the adult section the bars, the um, entertainment, adult entertainment. This is going to be Lumiere's and your atrium. It is also the home of Soul Cat Lounge as well as Rapunzel's Table. Uh, deck two is home to staterooms and another laundry service. Let's go see what that one looks like. So deck two has staterooms, um, both starboard and port side, and the 2500 range and the 2000 range. So you'll be in 2600s and 2500s. Um, so you'll be able to find your room easiest using this and don't forget those stars pointing forward or aft. So let's find that laundry service. It looks like it's behind us. Oh, and we're almost there. So we're aft on deck two. Oh my gosh. It's a couple. I can smell it. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, what a cute door. I love it. Oh, some doors have pin trading. That's kind of fun. Let's see if we can find the laundry. I can smell it. Mama, Daddy. <laughs> Mommy, Daddy. Oh, that's oh, cute. Okay, so here's the laundry service, deck two. Very similar to what we've seen on the other floors. 
and quite a bit smaller. Uh, my dad has used the laundry services on board all of the ships that we've ever been on. He really enjoys going and doing laundry on the ships. Um, and he says that deck six and seven are usually the ones that are the least used. So I would head there if you're gonna do laundry too. Now, if you need anything pressed, that's where your laundry service from the room is going to come in handy. They will charge you per garment aisle item for that charge and it'll go straight to your onboard, um, not your onboard credit, but your onboard charging account, which you can find the balance for that inside your app. So right now we are walking forward and we can tell that by the stars. So that was pretty much gang, um, deck two. So let's go down to deck one. So deck one is going to have the two porthole rooms that are really small because you're at the the lowest end of the ship. There's not going to be many rooms down here, many state rooms. It's 1030 to 1079, but this is also where your health center is going to be located. It's going to be located forward on deck one. It's also where you go ashore. Now, this is our 18th Disney cruise, and until this cruise, we have never needed to use the health center. We needed to use it yesterday. Like I said, Gabby got a little dehydrated, and that showed yesterday. So we had to come down and um, use the health um, center facilities. I did learn a few things. One is that if um, it is uh, stomach virus related they do not charge you to come to the health office if it is anything else though it is a hundred and sixty eight dollar charge and um, any charge for the medications so here's the exit to shore it's also where the health center is located so what happened is once they realized that it wasn't health related or gastrointestinal for for Gabby, we were um, charged the $160 just to our onboard account. And so I have that charge. They did not charge us, however, for the medication that they gave us. So that was nice. Anyways, that is deck number one. I hope you enjoyed this tour of the Disney Magic. It is one of two smaller ships uh, and the original Disney Cruise Line ship 25 years ago it sailed. Uh, it is one of our favorite ships. We love the smaller ships compared to the Dream and the Fantasy or even the Wish because of the size we don't tend to get lost. Plus, you can go all the way around the ship in multiple decks without hitting any dead ends. We hit a lot of dead ends when we were on the Fantasy and the Dream and then this summer we sailed on the Wish. And the wish is beautiful and the themed areas are beautiful, but every themed area felt very small to us. And so it was hard to find seats for things like karaoke or um, the game shows because they would fill up so fast. Whereas here with the D Lounge or with Fathoms, that area is so large that we're able to always find seats. When we're going to do karaoke or any of the family game shows, we don't ever find a problem with that. So we love the Disney magic. We love the Disney Wonder the most, which is weird because they're sister ships and they're almost the same, except for their art style. So on the Disney Magic, it is more geometric shapes. I'm trying to think of the word, deco, art deco. Uh, more vintage um, type artwork um, attributed to the early Disney era. And so that's what you'll notice here on the Disney Magic ship. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the ship tour and I hope you sail soon. Um, have a great day and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to follow us more on our adventures.